Let's go back to basics if we can for a moment, uh, Dr. Levinson. Just when you say an inner or inner ear disorder, what do you, you mean exactly? Is it a physical? It can be physical. I believe it's a neurochemical disturbance within the inner ear system, and the cerebellum is a big lump of brain, which is the computer for the inner ear system. Mm -hmm. That's the brain of an animal. Yeah. And the brain of an animal can do a tremendous amount. So that it's a huge functional mass. And what it acts is it acts as a fine tuner and secretary to the thinking brain. Yeah. It organizes, it presents all the information so the thinking brain can act efficiently. If there's any mistakes that the secretary sends to the thinking brain, you're going to have a mass of errors. This mass of errors I refer to as dyslexia, attention deficit disorder, or fears or phobias and even mood disturbances. Because they're all connected. One can provoke the other or spark the other. Very much so. Yeah. And it has to be neurochemical or if it were structural, you wouldn't get 75 to 85 percent of patients reacting so rapidly and dramatically to, to just simple a, medication. Um, to simple medication. Yeah. If the structure is damaged, you can't replace it. If it's a mere chemical disturbance yeah. within that system, it's easy to replace.